Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what we'd like to do in this case is determine how to factor, how to simplify this out, right? Um, so to do this, what we want to do, the first thing a lot of times whenever we're looking at factoring is trying to see what is it, what term um, or variable do, they, do our um, terms have in common? So we look at our 3x and our 3y, and we say, well, they obviously don't share an x or a y, right? That one has x and one has y. So those are not common, but they do share the number 3. So I can factor that out. Pretty much what that means is think about is like dividing that out. So you can divide out a 3. So if I divided, pretty much think about this, dividing a 3 by both terms, right, you'd just be left with x plus y. But when we factor something out, we still want to keep an equivalent. It's going to be an equivalent expression. So whatever we divide it out is just going to be on the outside um, of my now my parentheses. So this is now saying 3x plus 3y can be factored into 3 times the sum of x plus y. And we can always check our answer just by applying distributive property again. 3 times x is 3x. 3 times y is 3y. So when we're looking into factoring, we're not necessarily we're not changing the value of the expression. We're just changing uh, the way that it's written. And we do that by finding common terms and factoring them out, or a lot of times dividing those uh, common terms out. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Your factored form would be 3 times x plus y. Thanks. Uh.